I'm in a space right now where I believe the impossibilities. And because I'm taking belief and I'm taking action to it, my impossibilities is turning to possible. I can't count how many people laughed at us when I said, yeah, you know, you know we're, we're going to put together our own brand of spirit. We're going to launch in New York. How many of us know New York is the hardest place you can decide to launch any business? That's what they say. Master profit, that's what they say. And they laugh. But if I can tell you that God is giving me an Isaac situation, when you see an individual laugh at your dream, that's a confirmation that Isaac's coming. All you have to do is believe and take the proper action. All you have to do to believe. This is something that I'm learning about the promise that God gives you. Keeping that promise, when you're holding that, that promise is what people will know you by. That promise that you're holding Many a times, there has to be a name change for you to keep that promise. Okay? The scripture says it. He was Abram. God gave him the promise. Be a father of many nations. Now you shall call yourself what? Abraham. There has to be a change. There has to be a, a shift. There has to be a transformation even in how you relate to yourself. Because you cannot walk into retaining that promise as who you are and know yourself as right now. So that promise, as people begin to relate to you and this name change happens, that promise begins to become your brand. Because if we begin to take action and just believe and move with enthusiasm and conviction regardless of how big the word is, regardless of how big the promise is. You know, when you really look at individuals that achieved on a high level in today's world, you look at an individual like Michael Jordan, right? So he's someone that we've obviously seen that he's probably uh, the greatest basketball player of all times, right? And he's always been, right? No. He hasn't. Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. That's right. That's right. So what, 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 are we, what are we saying here? What we're saying is the promise was always there for Michael Jordan to be the greatest basketball player of all times. But how did he retain it? He retained it because of his belief coupled in with his action. So when we begin to look at Abraham, Abraham goes from being a, 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 a personality to a way of being here. When we look at Abraham as a father of faith, he goes from being just some individual in the Bible to being a way of being here. Because we can look at a Michael Jordan and say a Michael Jordan was, was, was a father of faith. That's not Bible. That wasn't written. But we we got to stop idolizing these individuals. Because when you're idolizing, you're pushing them away. You're putting them up here and saying, I could never be that. So if that be the case, how can you ever take anything from that? You know, the Bible speaks against idol worship. So what are you saying? Minister Kev, hurry up and get away from up there. We want to get out of here. <laughs> what we're saying is simple. You have to step into that space of being that same father of faith. And once you step into that level of belief, once you step into that level of, of, of that state of being, then you're going to begin to see things unfold in your life that you would have never thought in your natural mind that would have happened. 